real hard is, is on a sense, so there's no other way to describe it really. We've had, you know, sort of three uh, mini camps within the big camp. We had a preloading week in, in Cardiff to get the boys back up to, to running and used to getting the, the volume in. Then we went straight out to Switzerland and I think we're living at 2,300 metres and then coming down to like 1,300 or 1,200 metres and um, that's the optimum level you can still get the intensity and the push and you know the like the speed of game you want but still get the, uh, the ad like adaptations of the haemoglobin and stuff. Uh, we came back for a few days off and then we went straight to Qatar then um, in the Middle East for 10 days. To begin with, uh, we just started, you know, wanting to get the volume in the, in the boys' legs. So that first couple of weeks in um, in Switzerland and in Cardiff was purely to get the volume in. You know, boys have gone come off the back of you know, um, you know, three to six weeks off off of pre-season, and you know, you can't expect them to be at the level of, a, of an international. So, you know, it's just a lot of running just to get the legs ready for the real heavy stuff. The last sort of couple of weeks has just been sort of working on. Uh, again, more rugby conditioning and that power stage, so it's just been a bit of the whole mixture, but slowly over time, really. Arguably, yeah, I think so. Um, the last time I felt, you know, in a, in a great shape was last World Cup, and um, it's hard to say, am I fitter now than I was then? It's hard to say, isn't it, really, with time and stuff, and the way your body's adapted over time, but for me, I, I feel in a lot better shape than I have been in a while. For me, there, 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 is, there is no nice part of pre-season. Uh, obviously, I enjoy the training and, you know, it's just a case of the lesser of evils. Um, for, a, for me personally, I really enjoyed the Switzerland camp. I thought it was brilliant. I got a lot out of that. I felt myself. You know, the, the sessions were, were, were sort of direct. They were intense. They were exactly what I, I needed at that point to get myself into sort of some shape for a base fitness or pushing on as well. And, you know, we got a lot of core lifts out there, get some good mass on the boys and some size on, and it, it, for me that was brilliant, you know, the altitude really helped, you know, adjust and really bring you on quicker than you would normally. Look at Lee Halfpenny, he's, what is he, like 50 kilos, I don't know, and, uh, you know, um, he's only a small guy, but he's, you know, he's repping out 50, 60 kilos on top of his body weight as well, which is quite impressive for a man who only weighs like 40 kilos. For me, like a young guy, Nicky Smith came in pre-season, and the man just doesn't feel any weight on his back when he's squatting. I think he was knocking out like 230 plus for reps and like not even sweating, which is quite impressive really. I think a big thing for me is enjoying it. I, I think I always say that from minute one, if you, you've got to enjoy it, otherwise, as you well know, you won't push yourself to the end, you won't get up early morning, you won't do the extra reps, or you won't, you won't do, to do the, the little things. I think a, a big thing for an amateur player even a professional player is, is having a plan, you know, um, planning your pre-season, planning your sessions. 